June 17th, 2016. This is Becky Lewis in Central Indiana. And friends, I just wanted to show some people how easy it is to pick wild black raspberries. You may even have them growing in your own yard, like we do here, up against this really mega old shed that was here when we moved here. It's now like falling apart and our tarp came down, but anyway, and it's also extremely overgrown. Haven't been able to get to it this year because of my injury and I lost a month and a half, but but listen, this is so delicious, these black raspberries. And as you can see, it they're normally growing in with a bunch of other stuff. So sometimes you have to kind of kind of push your way around gently or move things or whatnot. And they are quite thorny. So I recommend long sleeves and long pants. And uh, I have sprayed some, some uh, repellent on my pants. I don't want it on my skin, but because chiggers are so bad this year. I mean, the worst I have ever seen them. So I do recommend a little repellent on the clothing. Um, so, but I just wanna show you how easy it is to get these raspberries. Uh, you don't have to do a bunch of tugging and pulling or anything. So I'm just gonna work my way in here. And yes, sometimes you gotta be willing to get down and dirty. So, and that's me. So I'm gonna step over some stuff here and watch the thorns to the areas that hmm, it can poke through the clothing so be careful if you know what i'm saying so hold on here i don't know if i can i can't really hold the basket and the camera here but i want to show you uh let me get one in the light here good okay hopefully you can see this but look they just they literally will cup right i mean they just fall right off in your hand See that? When they're ripe, you can just touch the edges of them and push them forward into your hand, and they just roll off. And I'll show you, they have, they have these little cup holes inside of them. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. See? So they literally just rock right off. And sometimes I'll just hold the basket under them and just rock them right off into the basket. But see how easy that is. And yes, you're going to get stain on your finger, so some people might like to wear gloves. But I gave up on that because I wear the, the nitrite gloves um, just because I can feel better through them. So there's no point in these thorns and stuff. They just get torn. So, but anyway, I just wanted to show you how easy that is. And they are so, so delicious, friends. They have such amazing flavor. Am I getting it? I'm watching the camera instead of the berries. I'm making a mess. So, but I want to show you. This is what my summer hands look like. Between raspberries, strawberries, black uh, blackberries, mulberries, I have berry hands. Very, very colorful hands. Even the fingernails get nice and colored. <laughs> So you got to be willing to get dirty, I guess, but it's worth it. And you can make delicious pies. Whoops, I lost one. Pies and jellies and just anything you make with berries, just all kinds of stuff. So you can either pluck them off the top easily or roll them off into your fingers. But they're really, really good. And if you like seedless, excuse me. If you like seedless, then you can squash a bunch of them like with a potato masher and put them through a cheesecloth and just literally squeeze out the cheesecloth and get all the juices out and then just make you some seedless jelly with that. If you want the jam, just keep in the seeds and all that. But the seeds may be crunchy, but they are good for you and they're delicious. So, and they can be annoying. I use them frozen in my smoothies too and I just grind them for an extra long time to grind up the seeds really good. So, okay, well, that's it for now. I just wanted you to, uh, to see those beautiful, luscious black raspberries growing wild. Go get you some free delicious from Mother Nature. Have a good day. Bye for now.